Hi, and welcome to my maths class. What we're going to discuss today is exchange rate. Now, exchange rate works a lot like rates. What you would have done in grade 9 called direct or indirect proportion. When we're working with exchange rate, it is a direct proportion. Now, what we need to remember is that the basic rule is same and the same. Meaning, when you put down your values, you would put the dollar signs under one and you would put the rands under one. You would never mix them up. So if I'm saying one dollar is equal to 11 rand 50, what is the next part? They tell me that Kevin gets a gift of 20 dollars. So I know that that 20 is going to go under my dollar sign. Why? Because I'm going to put same under same. So the dollars are going to be under one side and the rands are going to be under one side. Now they want to know, calculate how much rands will he have if the exchange rate is one dollar is eleven rand fifty. So I've got the one dollar is eleven rand fifty. Can you see the rands is under the R, the dollars is under the dollars. The value I am not sure of is the value of the rands. Now, once you have the fraction, you put an equal to sign. And we are back to solving for x. Two fractions, so we are going to cross multiply. So you're going to say x times 1 is x is equal to 11 rand 50 times 20. which means that Kevin has 230 rands. Okay, let us do another example. Sarah goes to England with 15,000 rand. The exchange rate is 1 pound is 18 rand 30. Calculate Sarah's spending in pounds. Now again, same and the same. The exchange rate we have is pounds and rands. Under pounds we have 1 and under rands we have 18.30. Now she has 15,000 rands. That goes in line with the rands. And we don't know how much pounds is it equal to. So we have our equal to sign. And again, we with a fraction, which is cross multiplying. So we're going to have 1 times 15,000 is equal to x times 18 rand 30, which is 18,3x. How do I get my x alone? It's basic solve for x. So Sarah has 819,67 pounds. Thank you for watching.